Hey folks, it's Jim. Uh, uh, I was doing my 100 mile inspection and service on the bike and I found the old uh, uh, wheel alignment issue, right? I want you to take a look in here. See how the wheel's bobbing up and down there? This wheel is severely out of tune, okay? And it must be tuned quickly. And this is a result of torque. And that's why I've spoke about that rear wheel uh, on on my videos. Uh, you know, I knew this was going to come. And by getting it tuned now properly, as is recommended in your manual, you know, you do your initial, have your initial inspection done, and then a hundred miles as well. And this is why, okay. And and this bike needs to be serviced, right? Uh, cables, brake cables loosen up. You may have to line your brakes. I mean this whole wheel needs to be tuned or it's going to become a catastrophic failure in a short period of time uh, my front wheel I can tune in probably an hour uh, it is really nice uh, just a little bit laterally out but this is humping and that's due to torque okay and this is going to happen to all of you within a hundred miles I hope okay and it, this would be this will exacerbate itself very quickly if not taken care of right now, okay? This is why your inspections on your bicycle are vitally important, folks. Now, what I recommend is at 100 miles, like you did when you initially got the bike, take it down to your pro shop and have them go completely through the bike. Why? Because they are very experienced, and they will find things that you may not see, okay? And... Uh, all of that and that's even if you're really good you know what this is going to do like now i can tune everything i did my brakes and all that stuff okay but what this allows me to do is support my local bike shop and by doing that we keep them in business we need them folks we get these bikes direct but we need our local bike shops form a relationship with your local bike shop take it down there get this whole bike tuned professionally and you know what folks it's going to be a great ride for you okay uh, make sure you do that and support that local bike shop. Two to four times a year I either purchase something or use my local bike shop for something to support them whether I need to or not. I want them to be there when I need them. So in order for them to be in my community I need to support them. Okay, We're getting a lot of factory direct bikes and all that stuff but these people have health insurance to buy and mortgages to pay and lives to live as well folks so we need to support them or they go out of business and trust me when they go out of business you know you're gonna miss them okay it's nice to have our local bike shops right and we help support our community by doing that also <coughs> um, by doing this regular performing regular inspections which I do with my bikes and I will inspect this again uh, I did my initial inspection and in tune out of the box and I've done my 100 mile inspection and this is going in the shop because I cannot tune this rear wheel to precise uh, the, as much precision as it needs because the amount of torque we're putting on it I'm not even going to mess with that I'll take it in I can tune my front wheel but I'm not doing the rear absolutely not I want it done perfect okay and that requires my pro shop so it gives me an excuse to go support my pro shop so I'm taking the whole bike in and getting a complete tune up and it's going to cost me about 60 bucks, 65 dollars or something like that. But this gives me an excuse for me personally to uh, get down there and support my local bike shop. So I enjoy it. And I knew I was going to do this anyway at 100 miles. It's also in our manuals, I think, that we have to get a, a professional inspection uh, for our manuals, uh, warranty and all that. So let's do that, please. Do not take any of this for granted, folks. Okay, electric bikes are great, but let me tell you something, folks. They are also part of our lives. We need to form a relationship with this bike. If you take this bike for granted, it will. you're going to have a bad relationship with it, just like you will with any person. You take any person for granted, you're going to have a bad relationship. Our bikes are the same way, okay? So don't take your bike for granted. Please perform your regular inspections and service. And get down and support your local bike shop. Please, we need to do that. What's the third thing out of regular inspections and servicing of our bikes that is good? One, we make the Electric XP brand a good name out there, right? Toyota and Honda. Why are those vehicles so good? Part of it is the owners 
of those vehicles perform regular maintenance and inspection and follow their manuals. And if we do that with Electric XP, guess what? It's going to continue to get a good name. They're going to continue to be able to sell good bikes and good products to us. And we're going to continue to get great deals, aren't we, from Electric? Okay, so let's help keep the Electric brand name solid in the e-bike world, okay, by doing our regular inspections and uh, services on these bikes, okay? We have a big responsibility as bike owners to maintain these machines just like any other relationship in our lives you know you get out of something what you put into it okay so please perform your regular inspections and uh, I would recommend you use your local bike pro shop always as your manual says because um, they need they need our support we need their support it's a symbiotic relationship they volunteer their time at all these charity bike events okay that's who's out there tuning bikes and, and helping these events to go off safely. Okay, your local bike shops are there supporting these events, all right? So we need to support them. It's all a symbiotic relationship, all of us. Electric, me and you, and our local biking community is all one thing. So we need to support them. You're going to need your local bike pro shop eventually, whether you're the best tuner out there or not. Eventually, you're going to need them. So let's support them. Start supporting them right off the right out of the gate. And you're going to have a much better experience with your bike too, by the way. Okay, this bike could, should last us years and years if we take care of it. If we form that solid relationship with our bike, right? And uh, as my disclaimer always is, follow your owner's manuals. You know, get your regular inspections done. Servicing of the bike is very important. Um, you know. And, uh, and we should have a good relationship with this bike, you know, and, and electric will have a good name and our local bike shops will stay in business. That means we all win together, doesn't it? Right? Regular service and maintenance of any machine, just like your cars, leads to a good overall owner experience, doesn't it? Bikes are the same way, folks. Okay. Yes, I do most of my maintenance myself and tune bikes all the time, but you know what? A couple times a year. I go support my local bike shop whether I need to or not. And that means that if I don't have anything else, I will go buy something. This gives me an opportunity to go support them, and I love it. Okay? So, um, you know, make sure you're doing that as well, whether you need to or not. Two to four times a year, go down and buy something from your local bike shop if you haven't had to use them for anything. Okay? And just keep, we need them, folks. We need them to stay in business. So support your local bike community by supporting your local bike shop. And getting to know them and forming a solid relationship with them too as well. Your bike ownership experience is going to be much better by doing that. So again, it's the trifecta win, isn't it? By following the proper procedures of owning our electric XPs, we form a good relationship with our local bike shops and thereby support our local bike community. We also make sure that our electric XP bikes operate and run efficiently and will last us a long time and we also support the electric name brand name in the market so they can keep delivering us good vehicles at good prices everybody wins folks by doing proper maintenance and inspections of your electric bikes okay so as my disclaimer you and you alone are responsible for your health and well-being the decisions you make in your life please follow your owner's manuals and recommendations uh, for your own safety and well-being and all that stuff and everything that you do and in whatever products you buy. Uh, I hope you're all doing well and uh, hope expect this rear wheel to be out of tune at your 100 mile inspection, okay? So your brakes are probably going to be stretched out, your brake cables, all that stuff, okay? It's just part of breaking in a bike. Don't panic. Don't worry. It's all part of the experience, okay? There's a lot of torque going to that rear wheel. Expect it. It's just the way it is, okay? I knew this was going to happen. I mentioned it on my first video. That's why I said again, I checked it all at 100 miles, didn't I? Because you know, it's just so much torque getting laid to this wheel. You know, uh, it's just the way it is. But hopefully after this tune, it's going to go four, 500 to 1,000 miles without needing another tune. But we'll see, won't we? Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Get out and support your local bike shop and thereby support your local community by keeping them in business, right? Let's all do our proper maintenance inspections. You know, as our manuals recommend, so Electric maintains a good name. Jim out.